everyone, I hope you're doing well. It's Doug, and in today's video, what we're actually going to be doing is four simple steps to sing with grit vocals. Let's do it. So you can throw me to the wall. Tomorrow I will come back, clear of the whole night. Beat me black and blue. Every wound will shake me, every skull will build my throat. So step one in actually making a grit vocal sound in the style of bands such as Linkin Park, Bring Me The Horizon, and Nickelback is actually breath and support. So let's move on to that. So to understand the breath more, I've put the camera down below and we're actually going to put our hands on the sides of our body underneath where the rib cage sort of ends and we get the soft fleshy bit right there. All right, now I'm going to stand to the side just for the sake of viewing. And what I want you to do is take a deep breath that is mostly situated down here, not too much up here. Like don't try and go <gasps> like that. What I want you to do is take a breath that really expands your stomach and if you can, the sides and back. That's the goal. So I'll show you. See that? Nice big deep breath. I'll exhale. One more time. All right. And I actually have a whole video on breathing, which goes quite in depth. And I'll put an annotation here. All right, cool. So now step two in the breath is actually raising the pelvic floor. And that's the same sensation as holding in your pee. I know that sounds a bit strange, but that's what you need to do. So, raise the pelvic floor. So, like that. I'm trying to make a visual. Like that. So, from the front, take a breath. And raise the pelvic floor. And if you notice, you can see my stomach kind of go up with it. It's not the same as just completely tensing. You're trying to bring the air into here. And then, almost like imagine this as a balloon. You're tightening the air pressure by raising it and making it smaller. That's exactly what we're doing. All right, good job. So step two, we're actually gonna sing a clean sung melody. Throw so me to the wolves. And then if you can't stomach that, take it a bit lower. You can throw me to the wolves. Do that if you can't sing the higher range one. Or if maybe you're a girl, maybe you could wanna take it a even higher. It's up to you. Wherever the key sits for your voice. Alright, so step three, we've got steps one and two, which were the foundational exercises out of the way. And what we're going to be talking about now is overcompression. It's an overcompressed voice. And what that is, is actually the sound that really makes the voice gritty. So, a compressed tone sounds like this, like, ah, and a breathy tone, which is on the opposite end of the spectrum, is, whoa, it's the same pitch, but it's just not the same vocal tone. Now, an overcompressed sound is a tone that you take, Ah, uh, and then lean on it even heavier. Ah, uh, hear that? Oh, that's an overcompressed sound, which leads you to the grit vocal sound. Time for the fourth and final step, which is also the hardest step, because what we're going to be doing is mixing step one, two, three to create step four. Now, what we actually do is take the breath and support, raise the pelvic floor, pretend to sing the clean tone. Because what you're going to do is, instead of seeing the clean tone by itself, you're going to mix it in with step three, which is seeing the clean tone with the overcompressed sound. So, take a breath, support it, and mix step two and three to create number four. You can throw me to the wolves! And then, you can really focus it, and get the, really the grit sound that your voice wants to project, and really hammer it in and focus on your internal sound. You can throw me to the wolves, tomorrow I will come back. Just to wrap it up guys, there are many different types of grit that you can do, but this is the one that comes out most naturally in my voice. Maybe in the future I'll explore many different types of grit, hopefully I can master more types, but this is the most basic grit sound that I've found to work consistently and that I've seen most professional rock vocalists do. So if you follow steps one, two, three, and four carefully, I promise you, this is how you can do it. I've seen many, many vocalists do this, and many professional rock vocalists, many vocal tutors teach this. It's really foundational stuff, and I believe you can do it no matter what type of voice you have, as long as it's healthy and working. And even if your voice is quite soft, like mine is, to be honest, you can really get it by just working it for maybe even a couple of months. You know, it might take that long. It took me a couple of months to really get this to work. I had to used to yell in my car. I used to go in my car and just yell along to some pop punk songs, and I finally understood it after couple of months. So if it starts to hurt or anything like that, just back away from it. 
don't become so attached to the idea of getting it right now. Think about the future, think about the longevity of your voice, think about where you want your voice to be in a year's time, in six months time, and I think that will be the key to getting a really cool rock sound. Just one last thing, thanks so much for the support that you've given me for the How To Scream video. It's actually brought in a lot of new subscribers and I'm really excited to share like a lot of new content, I think better content, with these new subscribers and anyone who's gonna watch in the future. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any ideas for me that I should film for you. Make sure to leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hey everyone, if you're interested in listening to some of my original music, there's actually a link right down there, and that's a self-produced track that me and my vocal student and friend Kaz made, and we've actually got a whole EP of five songs coming for you real soon. And I've actually got another six songs that I've recorded professionally in the studio with the help of people like Trenton Woodley from Hands Like Houses, and I've just filmed a music video for that, so that'll be out really soon with the entire EP. So, exciting stuff to come in 2018 and hopefully by the end of this year. Alright, enjoy it. Thanks.